one, one product to protect and preserve your health. And with Fountain of Life, we're just about to show them that. You guys ready to get started now? Yeah. yeah. I dig it. Well, Fountain of Life, just you know, it is a high performance antioxidant, completely natural. And, you know, we're looking at the tip of the iceberg. I just talked to the doctor over in Scandinavia just recently. And he said, what we're going to be representing and talking about today is just tip of the iceberg. There's more, they're doing more studies. Uh, they're looking at this at, at a very high level. And, he, and he's very, very excited about the future. Absolutely. So we're going to talk about something that's going to really excite you, but understand one thing. There's more and better to come. Well, you haven't seen nothing yet. So this is, of course, a high performance nat natural antioxidant. I'm going to get you to talk about antioxidants in a minute with surpri surprising benefits. So this is the part that I'm excited about. David, talk to me about this. Every day that, uh, as we all know, and, and you hear this in the news, you hear from our doctors and nutritionists, that our bodies are being attacked by what we call free radicals. Free radicals are everywhere, from pollution, smoking, it's lifestyle. It's eating too many fatty foods. It's, uh, there's a number of things, and healthcare professionals are always telling us, you know, eat more berries, eat more fruits. You know, let's try and reduce the impact of free radicals and reactive uh, oxygen species. These are the things that accumulate over time and cause us issues. And our bodies can actually become overwhelmed, and we're recognizing that. And our healthcare professionals are telling us we have to do something about what we are doing to ourselves on a daily basis. Yeah, and so one of the things that you always, well, one of the things, I know I'm loud, but not that loud. Um, so one of the things you've always told me is that with the free radicals, with sun exposure, with secondhand smoke, our bodies, with the water that we drink, everything, our bodies affected by it. Absolutely. Everything, everyone around the world is affected. We're, you know, uh, people in Canada, we think that uh, we're safe from all this. We are not. No one, no one is immune to this in, in any, any part of the world. So, and this leads over time, as we get older, all this accumulates. You know, we start as young, we're healthy, we're in 20s, we're still healthy, we develop these bad lifestyles, as we all know. Uh, <laughs> I did. And, uh, <laughs> However, having said that, it, it does lead to uh, problems as we do get older. Such as? Well, you know, obviously there's cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease starts from many, many areas, and, and we all know that. Simple things like arthritis. Arthritis, we know now that uh, chronic inflammation in our body, even in the finger, yes. inflammation in the finger will cause cardiovascular disease over time. It's chronic inflammation in the body. We have to be able to address that. Of course, you know, the big C word, cancer is always there, front and center. And it's frightening right now. The statistics in Canada are absolutely appalling. And how many people are going to be impacted by cancer? Well, you actually gave me a pretty scary stat that all the girls in the office were petrified yeah, to hear I'm, you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it's, not my, it's not my intention to scare anybody with this, but, you know, I was talking to a cancer researcher in, uh, in Montreal, and she does a lot. Uh, and she specialized in that. She called me up and she just said, you know, one out of every two Canadian women will be hit with breast cancer. Oh, one out of every four Canadians will be hit with cancer. One out of every two will die from cancer. Mm -hmm. And she was upset. You know, this is something she's been working on her whole life. And she said, we gotta, you know, is there something we could do about this? Mm -hmm. She wasn't sure, it was a question that she brought up. But we're looking at, you know, how we're gonna address the lipid barrier right now. And this is a whole different area of science that we're working on with her. And we're trying to help people that are gone through chemo and uh, radiotherapy. Uh, but the other thing that we're looking at are things like, you know, with, with Fountain of Life, and I, I want to bring it back to that, is that we're, we're being impacted by dementia. You know, as you get older, you know, and, and why is that? It's because of, of the free radicals, the collection of proteins in our, in our brains is causing these issues. And then we're looking older. Yeah, hear me it's just echoing. For those of you who are me? online, can you mute yourself up, please? Thank you. But the last thing is, and it comes back to, you know, how we look. You know, it's a little bit of vanity, but it all this causes premature aging. So, David, we don't want to depress people, but the reality is these are the challenges yeah. that we're faced with every single day, and we have a solution for them. 
to be yes. able to preserve and to protect their health. Right. Yes? Yes. Does that sound good? Yes. Don't worry, the first time he was telling me this stuff, this was me. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> and then I'm like, and then I gotta fight. I gotta protect my health. So I've never been a person that's ever liked pills or taking pills. Anyone else? Oh my God, I'm not alone. And so, you know, when I, like when people are now giving me like hauls and stuff, I could have probably taken some stuff for my sore throat, but I kind of didn't. And so with FOL, one of the things that I love that is liquid form, we're gonna talk a lot about that. But one of the big things that I love about this is, you know, nutrition is of course the gateway to a better health. How many of you heard of that before? Yeah, drink more water, yeah? Oxidize, antioxidants. So growing evidence that nutrition will play a key role in your health. Have you guys seen how many natural health food stores have popped up? Yes. Have you seen how many people have become vegan? Yes. Yeah, people are eating healthier. People are starting to eat cleaner. Why? Because the environmental hazards are just growing each and every single day. And antioxidants in our, di in our diet, David, can play a key role in what we do in, in, in being able to function in our bodies every day. Absolutely. You know, it's that protective mechanism that we're trying to promote. Yeah, you know, instead of looking for cures right now, there's a lot of uh, centers now that are focusing on wellness, and you're, you're gonna see that everywhere. The wellness kind of, you know, and you're seeing uh, a lot of healthcare professionals actually start to work together. So instead of seeing an individual office, you know, from nutrition to whatever, physiotherapy, physical therapy, uh, osteopathy, all these, all these professions are getting together. And why is that? Because they're trying to create wellness. They're looking at this as a wellness type of vehicle instead of a sickness vehicle. And they're trying to prevent instead of trying to cure. And if we could do that, you know, it's a very, very powerful way we could live our lives. And not wait for death, but actually, you know, try and mitigate the chances of that. Well, one of the other things as well, David, that we're seeing that doctors are changing. Where doctors were prescribing a lot of uh, medication before, they're starting to now tell people, eat healthier. You know, get more nutrients. Use antioxidants to be, have a better health. They're, they're also recommending high fiber diets as, as well. Right, absolutely. Uh, they're trying to make sure that, you know, we're, they're looking at, a, at the way we conduct our lifestyles now. They're not just looking at, you know, they're not waiting for illness to hit us. What, are, what they're telling us now is to lead a better lifestyle, lead a balanced lifestyle. You know, don't all of a sudden just wait till you're, you know, 60 years old to go see the doctor and say, you know what, I'm not feeling quite right. Mm, exactly. So we could do something about that. All right, so lignans, what are lignans? Because we have to say, take food that are rich in lignans. It took me a little while for me to understand. David, get um, do the same explanation that you gave to me. Simple version, not the doctor's version. <laughs> to our listeners, what are lignans? What do they do? It, it took me a while to grasp that as well. When I first heard the word lignan, I thought, what the heck is a lignan? A lignan is a plant antioxidant. It's a phytonutrient. So anytime you hear the word phyto, it means plant. So just remember that. So if they say, you know, a phytonutrient or a phytochemical. All they're, all they're talking about is that it's made from a plant. Very simple. But lignans are everywhere. But they come in different concentrations. So, you know, you hear things like green tea, blueberries, nuts. They contain lignans. They talk about flaxseed. They, they, you know, you hear this all the time. But they discovered in time that the most potent and the most high quality lignans come from wood extracts, believe it or not. And they discovered that the Norwegian spruce is very unique, a disease-free tree that lives for years and years, has the most powerful concentrated form of lignans or antioxidants in this case. So we started incorporating that, and then when you see the results in the Fairy Flawless line, just on the top of the level. Some of you reported how well it works on things like sunburns. It's not a sunburn remedy, but of course, because of the powerful antioxidants, it works very effective. But that's why it works so well on skin care. And we get that great anti-aging impact. There's a lot of other things that very philosophy would discuss further on, but that's what lignans can do for us. 
How many of you have heard, you know, put flax seed in your salad? It's good for you. Do you guys know why? No. We just take it. Because it's very high in lignans. Yes. And it's a great source of antioxidants. What do antioxidants do for your body, David? Antioxidants are really important because it neutralizes the free radicals. Okay, so if you can imagine that we're ingesting, you know, bad foods, a lot of red meats, these cause free radicals. And just quickly explain what a free radical is. It's just that it, when oxygen, uh, I don't know if I should say it this way. I, okay, she makes a face, tell me. But uh, <laughs> when oxygen is split, you know, a lot of times it has a charge. And when that charge occurs, uh, nature likes everything balanced. It will steal an electron from a healthy cell. And when it keeps doing that, it causes problems, causes cell damage, causes DNA damage. And these are the things that cause explosive growth that we do not want. And so that's why free radicals, when our bodies are overwhelmed, becomes dangerous. Our bodies are pretty, we're pretty good. When we're young and healthy, it's great because it's strong. But as we grow older, we lose those defenses. And so uh, that, that's what a free radical will do to us. That's Perfect. Cool. So David, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the trees. Uh, again, I want to talk about the uniqueness of FOL where it comes from, why it's different, because there's other trees, there's other spruce trees out there as well. What makes this so incredibly different? Well, this is from the Norwegian spruce. Now, you, you might hear of the, the French pine, white pine, yep. and their product name is called Technogenol, and they're doing a lot of work on this. This is much more potent, and the, the company that we're working with could not believe the potency. I can't say the name, but pick uh, I mean, it took me a little a month to figure out what you're talking about. But pycnogenol is something that, you know, they've done a lot of research on. A lot of products on it. It works. It's a great antioxidant because it, it, it has been effective. But the Norwegian spruce they discovered is far more cool. You know, and that, the thing is, the, you know, you get this spruce tree, and it, there's a sap in there, and you have to figure a way of extracting that sap. We cannot. So don't, please do not go taste the tree. <laughs> Please do not do that. Do not taste the sap because it'll, be, it, it'll, it'll cause digestive issues. We're, we're just not made to be eating tree sap. And one of the big things that occurred, and that's why this, this product has 22 patents, is that we're, they're able to extract it so that it's palatable. That we can use it on topically, but we can also ingest it safely. And that was one of the big goals that they had with this product. Recognizing that if they could extract this lignin and the antioxidants, that actually could most likely preserve our health a little better. Well, you know, for those of you who weren't at our 10 year anniversary, our doctor, um, our science, main science, leading scientist that developed and created this product talked about how he discovered it. So maybe you can talk quickly about that. Well, he discovered, he always knew that uh, the tree in his yard was uh, disease free. And he lives over in Scandinavia. He cut a piece off to look at and he threw the, the piece off in the freezer. And after about a year, his wife told him off and said, I'm going to throw it in the garbage if you don't do something. <laughs> That's the truth. And so he decided he's going to start looking at this because he said it's a disease-free tree and he couldn't understand why. He said, why does it live so long? Why is it not being impacted by the pathogen, by pollution, everything? And then he discovered that it was completely filled with the, all these powerful lignans or antioxidants. And that's where the process started. And this man is a genius. And he started working on this, and it uh, turned out to be FOL. And we started working together on this. And you are the first company, we are the first company in the world to have this product. Yes! So, you know, these, we've talked about, of course, we're excited about it, but these are the words that I cannot pronounce that you need to explain. There are all sorts of lignans out, you know, there are all sorts of types of lignans. Please don't worry about these words, you know. You know, hydroxymethyresinol and methyl. <laughs> uh, you know, there are two mains. The other one is cecoisyl lyrisyl resinol. And when you hear that, you're going to go, I don't want to say that. He's so fancy. It took me a long time practicing that one. <laughs> It's a tongue twister. I know it is, and, and I don't know why. So what do they do? These are, the these are the main ligands 
And if you start, if when you start, and I know all of you are smart enough to go out there and start Googling, what the heck's a lignin? And you start looking at the different studies. They're gonna talk about a few of these. And one of them is going to go, you'll see the letters SDG. This is one of the things we haven't listed here, but it's a very important ligand. And this is the one that, and these are the ones that will impact our health. These are the ones that, that when we take in, our bodies will convert. And we take a plant ligand and our bodies convert it to, we have to eat it, by the way. Uh, it converts it to a mammalian ligand. So that, that's one of the big steps that occurs in our body. And it creates, it creates uh, when we take a plant ligand in, it creates these two ligands called enterdiol. And, oh, I won't, I won't go that way. It's just going to confuse everybody. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's kind of, you know, I, let me put it this, this way. It's just converted for our bodies. And these are the important ones that we want. There's a lot of, there's about 10 ligands, but we want to get the most important ones. And that's what the trees contain. So let's take them through, you know, why eating rich lignin foods will help. Yeah, one of the big keys in this is that when we, when the doctors started looking at lignans, and what he became excited about is that they started looking at, in Finland, one of the doctors realized that, and, and they're doing a long-term study that, you know, that people that were eating lignin-rich food had 30% less cancer, less breast cancer, less colon, lung cancer. They found out that they had less, 30% less heart disease. And they started correlating all this and wondering well, what is going on. They discovered that the cholesterol levels of these people are lower and that it lowers our PSA. And this is important for, a, for us guys because as our PSA uh, elevates, and it's one of the measuring sticks, it, it, it might be a marker for actually prostate cancer. So there's other things too, that they discovered that people eating lignin-rich foods, uh, for men, they don't suffer as much age-related alopecia or losing their hair. The other thing that they discovered is that the prostate does not have go through that benign growth. And so I don't know if any of you guys suffer from that, but well, if you live long enough, you will. <laughs> in, in, in simple terms, as you know, I spoke to David, just hang on. I know you guys are taking pictures of the slides, and when you're taking pictures of them, make sure that you're reading them up as well because it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you guys out. But one of the things that David kept on explaining to me is that these antioxidants will help your uh, body. But, you know, how many of you know someone that um, has suffered from cancer, breast cancer, colon, lung? Yeah, right? It's something that's, uh, just ignore these guys, you're just setting up some tables for me. Um, they're basically, you know, it's going to, um, these people need FOL more than anything else. Because that is the power, thank you, that is the power of high rich lignans. And I know people personally that have started to see amazing results in the testing from using the FOL, David, Absolutely. in this area. For now, sure. One of the things that you guys may not know is that the spruce extract, in fact, is actually in two of our products, our day and our night, yes. our Revive 5D and our Quad AG product. And of course, David, one of the biggest things that you've always also told me is that the FOL, the ingredient, the extract, is also antibacterial. Yes. And that is one of the leading causes of disease right. and infections. Infections? aging, a lot of skin issues are from microbes. So if we can, if we're gonna have a product that reduces the number of microbes on the skin, we definitely will have a product that will reduce the cross-contamination that occurs and the problems that occur from bacteria. So basically when they're using these products topically on their skin, the FOL can also be used topically on the skin as well. Yes, absolutely. Uh, that's a nice thing you can take it, you can place it on your skin if you've got a, if you have a cut or it, it will help improve that. Uh, it's got a scar. Uh, I was talking to the doctor about that because you know some people have long-term scars. You, right now, if you have if you have a scar that's five years or less, you can put a silicon pad on there, and it will realign the collagen matrix. However, when you have something that's older than that, it doesn't work. But we're looking at using this for scar tissue that is older than five years, and he said there are some results on that. There's some problems, I can't promise it'll disappear, but it won't improve the look of it. 
So one of the amazing things is that the Norwegian spruce extract is so powerful that not only are we using it in our night, but we're also using it in our day. It's an anti-inflammatory, which is fantastic. It's antibacterial, which is amazing. Of course, the other big thing, of course, that I really like is minimizes the aging process. And my flawless committee, I remember Teresa's like, are you using it on your skin? And I said, yes. I actually take a little dab of the FOL because of course, I'm always the first guinea pig trying it. <laughs> and I'm dabbing it on. And what's really amazing, that although it's an, it's, it derives from the sap, it's actually not oily and greasy. So you can actually apply it on scars, large pores, all of those attributes and just blend them in and you can actually put your makeup on on top of it and it's not greasy. Or for the gentleman, you can put it on, you know when you get like razor burns or you get heat rashes and so on and so forth, that one also help it. That's why when they're using our day and night cream right now, it's helping them out because this product exists in those products. But imagine using the actual natural source raw, putting it on your skin, how much more potent it's going to be. <laughs> gentlemen would love to preserve their ha hair. Yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, I know, all the gentlemen want their hair back, right? And uh, they spend a ton of money on their preserving their hair. And David, I know you got a full set of hair. You've been very blessed. But one of the amazing things is that this product, you can also use it in your shampoo. Wow. For people who are uh, have dandruff, it will help them. How does it help with dandruff? How does it help with the scalp? Well, it, 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 there's there's two parts to this. You know, dandruff is caused by many many factors. Uh, one is, one is a fungus, of course, and they're discovering now it's bacterial born. So when they add when you add it to the shampoo and shake it up, it actually addresses that. And uh, I was talking to Doctor Gain about that, and he, they place it in just an ordinary shampoo, whatever. And they'll use it, and they're finding that it has great anti dandruff properties. You know, we can't market it that way, I'm sorry, because it becomes a drug, so we call it, a, we call it anti-flake properties. <laughs> and, uh, so, uh, it, it, I know we're dealing with semantics, but I deal with Health Canada all the time, and the FDA, it, you know, in our verbiage, if you ever read that, we say it's got anti-flake, but what the heck are you talking about? You know, we're not allowed to see dandruff in any of our ad advertisements, anything we're on the label, but it's great if you've got flakes in your life. Won't get rid of people. <laughs> we're not talking about people. We're not talking about fixing your hair when you go. Okay? <laughs> I had to make well, sure. I'm glad you caught up to that one. I put in my shampoo and it's still my life, you know? <laughs> well, you know, David, just before we go to this slide, I know that our founder and CEO is a big fan of the Apple Well because. You know, one of the things that we've been doing is we've been trying the product, and then we've been, myself and me have been seeing different results. And we keep on saying, okay, this is happening, why? This is happening, why? And we're learning, and one of the things that, you know, with our founder and CEO, he was saying that when he was going to sleep, he was waking up as he started to age a little bit with his pillow full of his hair, or when he was washing it, his hair was falling out. With the FOL, it stopped. Right. And he, would, he came and said, okay, why is my hair not falling out anymore? Not that I mind, but why did it stop? That was one of the reasons. Right. Well, one of the things is we grow older, as men grow older, we, we develop an enzyme called, uh, should I say it? 5-alpha reductase. Yeah. All right, who can say that? that? We won't worry about that. We're going to get all the long years, I heard the term many times. But we develop an enzyme, and the enzyme, what it does is converts our testosterone into something much more potent. And when that, when that occurs, it actually attacks the follicles in our hair. And the follicles shrink and our, and our hair falls out. So the big thing in science has always been, can we stop the creation of that enzyme? And so they started working on that. And one thing that ligands do do, in the right concentration, right form, will stop the, the production of that. The other thing that will happen at the same time that's great for men is that this 5-alpha uh, reductase enzyme causes hyperplastic growth of the prostate, which, so if a man is suffering from BPH or benign prostatic hyperplasia, which is a term just for benign growth of the prostate, uh, it, it's, it's a benign growth, it, it's not cancerous. I'm sorry. <laughs> I say I'm sorry a lot to her sometimes. How many of you actually understood what he just said? There. 
But if, but if you're a guy, you know, the urologist says, you know, we have to do a PRP or anything like that. It means it's just benign growth. It's not cancerous. I'm only teasing you. But it, it's, it's, I do oh, understand okay. you now. Thank After you. many months of training. <laughs> okay, one thing. For those of you who are online, I need you guys to mute yourself out. If the muting doesn't happen, I'm going to have to shut down the live broadcast. Please make sure it's muted. It's interrupting our meeting. Please make sure whoever's making noise. If you're on this call, you should be paying attention. You shouldn't be singing or talking. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so David, explain to me what this slide means. Okay. Comparing lignans from a spruce to a better known source. Okay, if, you're, if we take a look at any literature right now, you're gonna see that they talk about flax seeds. They recommend us drinking green tea. Eat rye. This is all pretty common. You read well, it everywhere. See. Show of hands. How many of you have been told to eat flaxseed? Yes. Okay, beautiful. And online, just wave at me so I can see you. Have you heard flaxseed is good for you? All right. What about green tea? How many of you know green tea is good for you? Yep. What about rye bran? Oh, yeah. Put it in your diet, have it during breakfast. Yeah, we've heard that. So if you take a look at the slide, it's telling you how much is available within every kilo. 11 milligrams, that's the highest amount that they've found in nature before FOL. 11 milligrams per kilo. Sounds like a lot, doesn't it? Well, we have 200 times that amount. How many of you would love to see a visual of how what's in five drops? Yeah. We're gonna, we have a little treat for you guys. So just wait. You start comparing to other lignin sources out there, you are gonna see the difference. And by the way, if you do have questions, keep them. We have a Q&A session at the end. Okay, David, you talked to me about synthetic antioxidants. Right. You talked to me about if vitamins are exposed to UV radiation and heat, right. it's not good. No, we, we, we bottle our vitamins a lot of times in, in, in containers that are UV, you know, we, we try and prevent UV radiation from touching it because it, it takes away the vitamin efficacy of that. So, you know, a lot of times you say, well, I'm taking a vitamin, I'm covered. Well, you're not really sometimes because sometimes the vitamins aren't processed properly. You know, if you overprocess a vitamin, it's destroyed. It's very sensitive. They are, I, actually the reactions are very slow to react and that's one of the problems with vitamins, especially with the synthetic vitamins, and the majority are synthetic. The only reason that, you know, we, if, if we went for the natural vitamins, we'd be carrying home jars from our drugstore that were literally this big. You know, we started looking at that, and Ramin and I were talking the longest and as about, we're looking at vitamins, but you'd have to have a huge, huge jar. And you know that's impractical for everyone. So they go for synthetics, but there are some, there are some, you know, it's, they're not bad. It's just that there are some challenges with it that we have to overcome all the time. So you know the current antioxidants in the market have some limitations. So that that's why we're really, really, really pumped about it for a while because it doesn't have all these things. It doesn't have all these problems. Very important. Does everyone understand that? Yes. Sir. Yes or yes. 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 Yeah. That is important. I didn't know that because I don't come from a health background. I don't understand, but I know that I'm aging and I know that I need to preserve my health. I know that the population is aging. I know my parents are aging and I know that there's a lot of free radicals out there and there's a lot of synthetic and imitations out there. So I always look, whatever I do, I look for the best, the best of the best of the best. And I definitely don't want to take something synthetic. Any of you want to take anything synthetic? No, right? Why is it that health food stores are growing every single day? Why is it that inside the health food stores, products, vegetables, meats, vitamins are more expensive? Because they're genuine, right? They're not synthetic products. So you pay for what you get. And the reality of it is you don't want synthetic. So let's talk about the solution, David. I think you all should be excited about this product. It's called Farm of Life, as everyone knows. Everyone's been talking about this for a while. It's one of those you know, open secrets. 
But let's go through what it really is. It is the highest quality antioxidant from nature. You're, you're not going to find anything more powerful than what, what is here. It, it contains the most essential lignans, most essential antioxidants that you require for your good health. This does not break down due to UV exposure or heat source. So, so when it's processed, you're not going to find it breaks down and there's problems and you're not getting the impact. And that's one of our concerns. You hear it all the time. You know, I'm eating a, I'm eating a lot of vegetables. Well, I just uh, fried up a lot of things and there's absolutely no vitamins or antioxidants left because you cooked it out. This one is never affected by that. During the process of manufacturing, it is never impacted by that. And this is a really easy to use regimen. You know, I've got my son, he's 20 years old, like he's using it now, because all of a sudden he's worried about losing his hair, I don't know why. <laughs> you know, he had a full head of hair and he came to me, he says, well, what if I lose my hair? I said, I don't know. I said, you get a hair transplant? I don't know, but he said, he, he says, so we started using, you know, FOL. Like, oh, I've got some samples, so I said, well, why don't you try it? So now he's all of a sudden using it, and he's checking his hair every day. But this gives him, and he eats poorly, he's a 20-year-old. So this gives him the dietary allowance of what he needs in terms of antioxidants. And so he likes that idea. And then it's, it's a perfectly safe regimen. There has been no side effects ever recorded. Now I asked the doctor again just recently, we have these conversations on a regular basis, because he's constantly doing tests on this and studies, and he said no, he's never seen a reaction with this product. <coughs> <laughs> So one of the big things, imagine if you can take five drops, that's it, five drops to protect and preserve your health. How many of you does that make me get excited? Five drops is absolutely amazing that it's going to give you the dietary, what you need in antioxidants and the lignans. Yeah, absolutely. It gives you everything you, it gives you the, the antioxidants that you do require to try and stave off the bad things that happen on a daily basis, okay? Now, another little treat I wanna give all of you so that everything that we talked about today, you're gonna to have it at the tip of your fingers, is write this down, F-O-L dot one, O-N-E. That is the F-O-L website. Everything that you just saw is live on our website, Effective as of today. Wow. So you're going to get access to it. You're going to be able to share it. F-O-L dot one. Hello. Lovely Rebecca Robinson already put in a group chat. Now you can put it everywhere you want. F-O-L dot one is our website for F-O-L. That gives you all the information that you need. But, you know, before you go there, don't go on the website now, right now. Pay attention. But we're going to get into the good juicy stuff now. Ready? All right. What is the real value? David, talk to me about this because you know all of. Would you all agree? All of you have a heart. Yes. Well, I hope so. You're sitting here. I'm talk, I'm talk. Well, the first thing to realize from this and where it all starts is that with our cardiovascular system. So I mean, when we talk about heart disease and everything that's you know that impacts our lives, cholesterol, all these bad things we've heard about for years. We're wondering, how, how am I going to get rid of this? How am I going to, number one, lifestyle, but number two, we want to take a, an antioxidant-rich diet. And it's showing, and lignin-rich diets are showing a reduction in heart disease around the world. So let's take that into consideration that you do have to increase your antioxidants on a daily basis. You've got to do this regularly. The other thing is protecting our DNA. We talked about free radicals and reactive o oxygen species. These are the things that cause this growth. And cancer is funny because cancer is, you know, it's immortality in a way. It kills the organism, but it's just continuous growth. And that's the way they look at it in medicine, that it's just continuous growth and how do you control that? The problem is the, the information in our DNA gets out of hand at times. And it causes this growth that causes this growth that kills the organism eventually. So, so in simple terms, it basically suppresses the tumors. It, well, this, what it's going to do, and it's, going to redu it's going to reduce the chance of free radicals from altering our DNA. Yeah. It's neutralizing the free radicals. It's really important to understand that 
these free radicals are causing issues, we want to neutralize them. That's what malignancy will do. Okay. Yeah, awesome. Great or great? Great! great. Controls diabetes complications. Studies are now showing the development, yeah. How many people are, you know, our society is moving out to type 2 diabetes. That's a lifestyle thing. But if we could reduce that and the complications of that significantly. Why not? Let's, just, let's use a better antioxidant. Defend against dementia. And this is the part that when I started reading about this, it shocked me how many people are affected by, by dementia. Number one, we know that. But what can we do? And it's proteins that are accumulating in our brain. Free radicals are causing that. And so if we could reduce and neutralize the free radicals by having a better diet, by using more anti a better antioxidant, we can reduce that chances. So we're gonna try and give everyone a fighting chance against yes. that. Imagine five drops. I'm giving you that. Five drops. Diabetes. How many of you know someone that suffers from diabetes? Look around the room, keep your hand up. Imagine if you can offer them a product that's gonna help them. Just so, just so you know that there's those letters, S D G. That's that's a ligand. Okay? In case you're wondering. S D G is for a ligand. S D G is one of the primary ligands out there. It's a sequel isol reso 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 you know, uh, it, we find, it, the studies have shown that ligands can uh, halt the production of an enzyme that converts our testosterone into something that causes us to lose hair. Simple as that. So it improves our hair and scalp health, and it significantly reduces hair loss. So for those men, like, some guys look great when they're, they don't have hair. You know, I, uh, some of my friends look just wonderful. I would not look great. <laughs> and, you know, I look like a, you know, one of those masters from Kung Fu or whatever. But, uh, so, uh, I don't want to lose my hair as well. But the other thing is prostate health. And prostate health is affected by the same enzyme. So if we can reduce the production of that enzyme, that's what doctors, neurologists, and all these scientists are trying to work on right now. But we discovered that ligands in a high ligand diet, high antioxidant diet, will reduce that. And that will that will reduce the chances of lower urinary tract syndrome. So these are problems that we all have. Which is discomfort. It's discomfort. For gentlemen. Discomfort. Well, it's just that you, you see that on a plane. I always tell people, you can tell a man who's suffering from a prostate issue when you're on a plane. Because as soon as the seatbelt light goes off, you'll see four or five men stand up and go to the, go to the head. Why is that? Because they have a prostate issue they can't avoid properly. And I feel for them because this is constant. They can't get that relief. So if they have a lignin-rich diet, that would try and mitigate those that circumstance and that growth. And it also reduces inflammation for the prostate Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. And this is all... Which is going to help them. Prostate is about the size of a walnut, but when it starts growing, it can grow up to 200 grams. It's huge. Wow. So if you see a 200-gram prostate, it's like, it's like wow. Yeah. So it's, and this will help them with the inflammation. It will help with the inflammation. Absolutely. Is that great or great? Great! Woman's health! Oh. All right. You see, when we talk about men's health, you guys are like, hey. We talk about woman's health, we're like, hey. Yeah, this is really important. You know? We talk, we, we hear the words breast cancer, the scariest words in the world. You know, so many women are hit by that. Yeah, you know, they, there's estrogen receptor sites in the, in the breast. And we talk about breast health all the time. They found out that lignans, well, they, they, they create a phytoestrogen, it's called a plant estrogen. And what we'll, it will do is take up these receptor sites. And, and, you know, men have estrogen in their bodies too, not just for women. So it's important to understand this. But the thing is that if these ligands take up these receptor sites, it prevents the estrogens that cause problems and the signals that cause breast cancer. It will reduce that opportunity. One doctor said it nicely, it's just like musical chairs. If we could get the right, right estrogens in there that are safe 
it will reduce the chances of growth that way. And so that's what this represents, a real opportunity, a real chance to, to mitigate the chances of something very serious and happening in, our, in a woman's life. Great or great? Great. 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 All right, so fountain of life. The best sort of lignans, of course, in your diet, fast acting, provides high source of lignans available, highest quality source of antioxidant. We all know we need antioxidants. So here's the really cool part that it's just one simple dietary piece that you need in your diet daily. And here you need five to 10 drops. David, what is the usage recommendation? It goes by weight, actually. It goes by weight. By so 50 kilos, five drops. So if you're 50 kilos, I'm not going to ask you Did you guys get that? So if you're 50, 50 kilos, kilos is five, five drops. If you're over 50, go to 10 drops. The big thing about this is to understand how to take it. You know, you, there's several ways you can take this. You could be like Remain, which I couldn't believe. He took it straight. You know, took it neat. And he said he liked the flavor. And that, that's really important to draw, draw some bitter aftertaste with this. And, you, you know, know, I want to get them ready. First of all, um, FOL is a spruce tree extract. So I want to give you guys a little bit of history behind it of what I tried to do. Because my job is product development. And so I said, you know what, we got to make it sweet. Because the first time I tasted it, I was like... <laughs> and it's not as bad as Buckley's, don't worry. Uh, but I, I, it was, you know, I had an aftertaste, it was bitter. And so I thought, okay, you know what, we're gonna sweeten it up. So the scientists are like, keep it pure, we're gonna have to add sugar. I'm like, oh no, it's bitter. So we put stevia in it, we put a whole bunch of other stuff in it, we put apple flavor, we put blueberry flavor. I like we, it. <laughs> <laughs> the thing was, we started to add sugar to it, and you know what, we wanted to get away from that. If you're gonna create something that's gonna be so powerful in antioxidants, you wanna keep it real, yes? yes? So then we said, okay, you know what? Then we went back to the scientists, so we said, we're like, so what can we drink it with? So it's simple. You just drink it, you can't drink it all day. It's not a you know vitamin to drink all day. You gotta take it in the shop. How many of you in the room, I know my flawless committee and our LCG have tried it. Put your hand up if you tried it. Woo! Yeah. So all of them were able to take it. They were like, oh, it's interesting, whatever. I personally need to drink water right after it. I need to have a piece of gum after it too because it's bitter for me, but I'm a suck. Like, I don't like vitamins, period. And um, Callie's a suck. Um, you know, other people are, are much better than us, but you can take it in juice. You can take it in yogurt. You can take it in beer. Yeah. Gentlemen, this is not for you to go get drunk in the morning. <laughs> and you're like, dietary sores. I need to drink beer first thing in the morning. No. But, you know, beer's got it. Beer, beer's bitter. Beer is good with it. Though. Beer is very good with it. But we don't recommend taking this just before you go to work, right? No. But a little bit just to get rid of the bitter taste. You can put it in your yogurt your water, your juice, depending on your body, depending on your lifestyle, depending on how you you live. But I want to get you guys ready for it. It is a bitter taste. Uh, we didn't put any sweetener in it. We didn't put any sugar in it. We didn't put anything artificial in it. We kept it real long. So what, the reason I'm sharing that with you is that you know you got to get your customers ready. It's, it's totally doable. It's not like, oh, I'm gonna die. But you wanna make sure that you are definitely getting your consumers and yourself ready that you're gonna need to maybe drink some water afterwards. Yes, David? I know you just take it raw. I know our CEO, Ramin, like just drips it up. Like, for him it's like candy. He loves it. Just put in a bit of juice. You can taste it, to be honest with you. You really yes. don't. It's just wow. a, if, unless you're looking for the taste, I, I know we've had this discussion many times. <laughs> I think for someone like me who's a suck that doesn't usually take vitamins and stuff like that, um, you know, for me, it's, it was just, the taste is strong, but it's not undoable. Like, it's not like, I'm not dying. I can yeah, take it, but I need to drink some water after. Just, you know, vitamins have a very, very strong taste. Yes. Very bitter. Yep. So this is not like vitamins, to be honest with you. So, David, is this the miracle cure? Uh, boy, that's a loaded 
question. Is it? <laughs> no. no. We don't, you know, this is not a medicine. Yeah, don't go sell it as this mir okay, miracle they, potion. You know, if someone's on a therapy, don't say, you could stop that, you could start using this. It would be unfair to the doctors. Yeah. It'd be unfair to the healthcare professionals to sell it that way. It's a nutritional supplement, but it's a high source of antioxidants that you can't get anywhere else. Okay? So it's, not, it's not a miracle cure. Please don't promise miracles because, you know, the body is an incredible organism. And we want to make sure that we give it the best chance possible. But it will, FOL will help get the antioxidants that are required. It'll, get, it'll provide the antioxidants that the doctors keep talking about, our nurses, our, our nutritionists are talking about. Increase your antioxidants. They're saying it because they know, they understand, they're smart. So that's what they're trying to do. Give us a fighting chance. Let's improve our lifestyles. And this is what this is all about. But they will start to see a difference, David. You will see a difference. Well, look at Samantha's like, really? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've known Samantha since maybe March, February, March, and, uh, you know, she talks about aging. I don't know if she is or not. <laughs> and, honestly, really. Like, uh, I, I mean, she seems to be going the other way. And uh, there's a couple of Leo, I called him Benjamin Button last night, you know? <laughs> but it's a reason. You know, there, there seems to be an anti-aging principle involved here. You know, you're not, I, I won't say that we're not going forever, but I'm gonna say that we can live a healthier lifestyle. Yes. yes. Okay, and this is a key step for that. And you know, I know myself how much my body has changed. I know our CEO who's been using this, his body has changed. I have my dad um, on the product, Sando Cat. And you can actually talk to him as well, is, uh, you know, how, how much it's changed for him. My mom is using it. Again, same thing for her. So in a couple of weeks, you will start to see a difference in your body. For me, you know, my knees were hurting, yeah, because as you get older and you're in the office in high heels all day long, your knees will start to hurt. My knee pain is gone. I know our CEO had uh, chronic pain in his elbow. And every time I was in his office, he was always rubbing his elbow. He was always in pain. And uh, again, nothing. He doesn't take any medication whatsoever at all. He's discontinued it all. Um, you know, with myself, same thing. Um, our CEO said to me yesterday, Sanaz, I'm at the lowest weight as I was five years ago. Wow. And myself, same thing. So these are some of the things that are naturally happening in our body because it's balancing out our body. Yes. So that's what it is. It's, not, it's basically balancing it out with our body, with our immune system. And it's very, very high. And, antioxidants and you know we can show you in charts and all that kind of fun stuff but David I'm super excited to show them are you guys ready to see wow. what the equivalent wow. I want you guys to listen to this very carefully if you discover the power of each drop five drops Whoa. is a dollar sixty five a day how much do you spend on your Tim Hortons coffee in the morning more than that. Yeah? Reza, I know I can see there's a lot of light. Two dollars. So Reza's already at two dollars. But are you guys ready to get a visualization of what five drops is equivalent to? Yes. Are you ready? Yes! So let's show them. Can I bring it through the back? Through the front? I can't see. There's light in the back. Are you guys ready for this? Just watch out in the corner. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, five drops is equivalent to 900 apples. Look at your screen. 900 apples. Apples. They would have to go to an apple orchard to pick all these up. Everyone's going to get apples to take home so you can be rich and lignant. It is equivalent to 255 cups of lettuce. Don't worry. This is all going to stay in the front for you. So you don't have to worry about us taking this away. Because after this, we're going to do Q&As and then we're going to basically do lunch. Is that great or great? Great! 250 cups of lettuce. 20 cups of kiwis, 35 cups 
of oranges, 15 cups of cauliflower, 75 cups of onions, 25 cups of green tea, 900 cups of apples, 25 cups of strawberries, 80 cups of cabbages, 20 cups of cherries, three cups of carrots, because they're again high, 50 cups of tomatoes. Now look what we put underneath every single one of these products. So, five drops is $1.65 versus, you know what we have for all of you today? Packs of all of you. So we just put these at our promo table. They just literally arrived. A pack of 50 is only 10 bucks. You can pick them up. What we just shared with you right on the back and right on the front, it's all there. So what we want to do at this point, again, we're going to keep this open for you. I just, I think our CEO is here. Is our CEO here? Yes. Park, there's a light there. I don't see him. I can't, I can see here, but I can't see. Oh, yes, he's there. Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do is, Ramin, I'd like to actually bring up our founder and CEO just to share this excitement with us, David. Of course, you guys see the power in five drops, yes? yes. How many of you are excited about this product? How many of you can easily share this product? Because you know five drops is going to give you that. How many of you can eat 900 apples in one?